Enter was a um, international multi-centre study that we undertook across 27 centres uh, in Europe over the last number of years. So um, this study was coordinated or run in conjunction with the European Society for Diseases of the Esophagus Young Investigators Group, which is a really excellent group of young researchers um, who helped to drive this project forward internationally. And the aim of the Enter study was to look at uh, how surveillance or follow-up practices differ across Europe and in North America um, uh, between centres. Because we know that there are very significant differences in guidelines between, for example, Europe, the UK and North America and as to how patients should be optimally followed up after completion of treatment. What we found in the Enter study was that there were very big differences in what people are doing internationally. So we found that uh, less than half of centres in Europe are doing routine follow-up with CT scans after completion of treatment, and only about one in five centres are doing routine follow-up with endoscopy after completion of treatment. And this really opened, uh, opened the floor for us to be able to take, undertake a multi-centre data study. So we did a multi-centre observational study then comparing outcomes between patients treated in centres that are doing intensive follow-up with imaging and endoscopy and centres who focus on clinical follow-up alone. What we found in the Ensure study was that it appeared that follow-up with intensive surveillance did not influence oncological outcomes in the whole patient group, but we did see some signals in subgroup analysis that patients who had earlier stage disease or more favorable tumor biology benefited from an intensive surveillance follow-up approach. The trade-off of this is that intensive surveillance follow-up, although it was associated with similar global health-related quality of life, was associated with more anxiety in that patient cohort and long-term survivorship. And the Ensure study really laid the groundwork that we needed to set up the international multi-center Sarong 2 clinical trial, which is being uh, run in parallel with a clinical trial Sarong 1 in the UK, uh, looking at the same question.